Hey guys, it's Mr. V over here doing a book review today for Like Life by Lori Moore. Before I get into my book review, I want you guys to know that I try to do a spoiler-free book review, so if you see me looking down, I just have notes so I don't give any spoilers away. So let's like get, get into the book review for Like Life by Lori Moore. So Like Life is uh, eight exquisite stories of characters who stumble through their daily existence. And that's about as much as you can say about the book, because it is eight different stories. Now, before I get into the review, I want you to know that I'm going to not review each individual story, but I'm going to review the book as a whole. So just be aware of that. So overall, this book was definitely an interesting book, I'd say. It was very interesting because it's more like a philosophical look into like people's struggles. Like all the eight stories were just like, it's like a philosophical look into people's struggles. Because a lot of times people think that like they look at, they observe others and they think like that others are getting things in life easily. And they think that things are going so well easily. And they wonder like, why am I struggling so much? And all those other people aren't. Yet, as this shows, um, many people actually struggle in life and they struggle in some way. And she shows through some of these stories. Some people struggle, whether it be love or their career or companionship, or there's other struggles that people go through. They struggle in some way. And life is very different, like, when you know their story. You know, like, that it's just like, it, it makes you feel not a little better, but it's just different when you know the story because you'll see that, like, some people will have their career, yet they don't have their love. Or they'll have love, yet they don't have their career and that's where they're struggling. And that's what she's showing through these stories as these are eight different stories and they are not related at all. And again, it's just about different people's struggles in life. And it shows the different types of struggles they go through, some of what I just said, but it also shows that like she does different types of struggles. It's not just the same thing repeated over and over. It's different types of struggles, which is also a lot of fun for the book. And that she wrote this for like different people. As I said, they're different struggles, but also different people because it's different age groups. They're all over the age of 18, but they're all different age groups. And it's written from both a men's perspective and a woman's perspective, depending on the story. So, you know, that is really cool. And I think it's because of that, the stories are pretty relatable because you either went through something similar to what those characters are going through, or you know someone who has gone through that. So it's like, that's why it's pretty relatable because these are everyday struggles, you know, it's like life, you know, so that's, you know, that was really cool. Now, some of the things that I did not like about this was that, as you know, this is a book of eight short stories, but because it's a short story, you cannot develop the characters well. And because you can't develop the characters and it's like, and by the way, some of these sto stories are very short. And because these stories are so short and you cannot develop the characters, you don't feel compassion for the characters. So when they are struggling, you see the struggles, but you don't really feel any compassion for them. Or you feel very little compassion for them because of that. And I would also say that some of the stories, a decent amount of the stories, very little happens. Like very little happens in a decent amount of the stories. I didn't count the exact amount, but like I rated each one individually, but it's like a decent amount of stories, very little happens. And it's like, it's good writing, but it's like close to nothing happens and you feel like unfulfilled by the end. You're like, that's it? And you know, that brings me into my next part that I didn't like was I didn't like the ends. Um, I judge an end by many things, but I didn't like the ends because like some of them were fun, but many were just unfulfilling. Like by the time you got to the end of the story, you were just like, that's it. Like you were even surprised that it ended. You'd flip the page and you'd be like, wait, wait, that's the end of the story and that's all that happened. Like, so, so that's why a lot of the stories left you just unfulfilled, you know, and, and, you know, that was one, those are some big knocks against it. Now, as for her writing style, you know, I thought that she did a good job writing, you know, because it was very easy to read. There was nothing complex about the stories or anything like that. And she describes things very quickly. As I said, it's a short story, so she has to, but she describes things well, very quickly. And I think you can envision it too, because she did great dialogue. She had great dialogue and that kept you uh, very interested, you know, so, so that was great. You know, I, th I thought she did a good job writing overall, but you know, it, it kept you interested to where you wanted to finish the story, but just be aware if you're thinking of this book, that this is not a big story type of book. I mean, it is eight short stories and some of those stories are very short, 
So know that it is that, and that it's more like a philosophical type of book. That is like you are looking into the struggles that people face. And that, that's why it's kind of a philosophical and almost a poetic in a way from some of the stuff I've read online too, that is like kind of poetic because sometimes you have to kind of read between the lines to see some of the struggles that people are facing in the story. So, so you know, you want to be aware of that. And that, again, this book is the one with different stories. It shows the struggles people face, but it's not impactful. To me, it just was not impactful because the short stories just did not give me any type of impact. And it left me feeling very unfulfilled at the end of most stories. But let me give it my official rating right now. So I always rate my books on a scale of 0 to 10. A 0 is an awful book. A 5 is average. And a 10 is phenomenal. If it gets anywhere near 10, that should be on your reading list. Because a 5 is average. And it's hard to move up in one point in my rating system because I'm a tough critic. So, like life, I'm going to rate this book a 3. Uh, remember, a five's average, and I'm rating it a three, so it's pretty far below average. And the reason I did it is because of these short stories, as I said, most of the stories um, left you very unfulfilled. You know, I enjoyed the story, You're Ugly Too, but I would say I think five or I think five of the stories I did not like, that at the end I was just kind of like, that's it, and it felt kind of stale. And that's why I'm rating it pretty far below average. But, you know, if you guys have any comments, disagreements, questions, please post it in the comment section below. I hope you guys click the subscribe button as I always upload multiple different types of book reviews. But thank you for watching my book review today. This is Mr. V. Go enjoy your reading.